Okay, today I want to do another video about crimping fishing leaders. Um, and this is more kind of like how do you get everything together and decide what you're going to use to crimp fishing leaders. Because the actual crimping of them is pretty easy, but getting everything to go together is, 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 is a little bit complicated. It's not hard, but it's a little complicated. One is you have to have three different components picked out and all of them have to go together. So you have to kind of make some decisions up front about what you're going to do so you can figure out what things you need to do what you want to do. First thing is you have to kind of decide what are you going to be crimping, okay? One of the things you're probably going to be crimping is trolling lures like this Zuku feather um, with, uh, with mono. Um, you might be crimping some kind of a heavy headed jig for wahoo in which case you might need um, some cable some 47 strand or 49 strand heavy cable um, or you might be crimping some type of bottom rig like this is a big heavy 250 pound um, mono um, bottom rig which I'll show maybe in another movie how to make one of these are pretty simply it's a bunch of wires but basically it's all there I made a bunch of mono, but it's it's just a bottom drop jig, dropping rig. So, um, the first thing I guess you have to think about now is um, what strength line are you going to be crimping? In my case, I use two different kinds of mono, a 150 mono and a 250 mono. And I use three kinds of cable, 49 strand cable. 175, 175 pound, 275 pound, and 480 pound cable. Um, and all of them require a different crimp. And here's the, a little chart of the crimps uh, with what they go, go with. Now you have three basic kinds of crimps that you can crimp with a hand crimper like this. And single wall, uh, single um, crimps which are just a little metal tube these double sleeves which are which have like a little kind of a figure eight profile that you put um, the thing in and I'll show you how to do that in a minute and um, these Momoi aluminum clamps crimps which are just oval now some of them are long so that you can put a double crimp in it here and here and some are single for just one crimp and I'll show you this here in a second now the crimps every company that makes crimps um, makes has labels them differently uh, in sizes and the crimps that I like are these Bill Fisher they're double sleeve crimps black finish with a, and they're made out of copper and I like these Momoi aluminum ones. But now the aluminum ones you can only use on mono. These you can use on mono or um, cable. The, if you use these aluminum ones on the metal cable, they set up a dissimilar metal reaction and they'll just dissolve and ruin each other. So um, now these, these, each one of these crimps has a, has a number that has to do with the inner diameter. And if you'll notice on the on the crimper, it has numbers also. And, uh, see what these numbers are. But this is where you're going. Like this is a 1.9, so you're going to be crimping it here in this one that goes for the 1.5 to 2.0. And uh, the smaller ones, like this is a 1.0, it's going to go in the crimp in the first one. So each one of these matches up. Now here's where the, the problem gets in. You go to the store and you buy one of these, uh, this crimper, which is just like most of them. They're all, I bet you they're all made at the same factory. They all look similar. And then you go over to the, uh, turn around to the crimps, and none of the crimps are labeled that match your crimper. They're all... You know, the crimps are, you know, F7D5, and you don't know which one is which. Or um, they don't have the, the, or the crimps don't tell what size 
mono or cable you're supposed to go with them. So it's kind of a little bit of a kind of experiment to figure out which ones you like, but you really have to try to find a crimper and crimps that are labeled to the same so that you know which hole to crimp in. And then on the internet there's lots of little charts and and um, where you can match up which mono and things like that go together and which cable here and go. But um, you have to make three decisions kind of simultaneously. What crimper am I going to use? What crimps am I going to use? And what um, material I'm going to be crimping. Now, the single um, tube type crimps have a very bad reputation. I've never used them because everything I read said they weren't very good. So I've always used these and I'll, and and the the mono uh, leader material that I bought came with the crimps to go with it, which was a real help to figuring out which ones to use. So I still use the ones that came with it. Um, but let's let's crimp one here and you'll see kind of how this works. Um, we'll start with this is a hundred and seventy five pound forty nine strand cable and um, all you do is uh, put the uh, crimp on, bend it around, put it back through. Now there's all kinds of um, things that I'll do in another video to show um, you know, there's sleeve protectors, and chafing, and uh, beads and swivels that you can add in here before you crimp it to, uh, you know, that you can put on here before you do it if you want to need it. But these are all application specific things. But in this case, we're just going to crimp some and test them to see how they, so you can see how it goes. Now, you don't you, you want to adjust your loop but you don't want to have this tag in sticking out uh, because it'll fray and it gets very sharp and it'll stick you so once you sort of have your loop size you want to pull this in till it's just barely exposed there so there's not enough to fray you and then this is the 175 pound cable so I'm using the 1-0 crimp which goes in the first hole let me check Okay, now here's the critical thing. You don't put it through there and mash it like this. You put it what's called cup to cup. So you put this in here, you get it right in the middle because you don't want to crimp near the edge because then it'll create a little sharp edge that may cut into your material. So you see I'm in the middle here. Okay, I got my little crimp, and then you just squeeze it down. And then you have a nice crimp. No sharp edge, it's away from, see how it's flared here on either end, so there's no edge, it's cutting into your material. 